Choosing a contour line that is shaped like a circle is most convenient because the magnetic field along a circle around the wire is constant, along a constant radius. So let's plug in the magnetic field expression. So we have I phi hat 2 pi r dotted with dl. The contour line is a closed loop, meaning we're integrating along the circle from 0 to 2 pi. So I can pull out the i, that doesn't depend on our integration, and the 2 pi. So we're integrating from 0 to 2 pi d phi, which is i over 2 pi times 2 pi minus 0 equals i. So this is independent of r, and in other words, when we integrate the amount of current around, around a closed loop, it tells us how much current is inside of that loop, is flowing inside of that loop. So if we know the magnetic field around the wire, we can figure out how much current was flowing uh, to produce it. All right, this is this my this circle is a lot better than the one that I had. All right. Now, the EMP we want to use in our test has spectra from 1 to 300 megahertz. So, we just considered a wire with DC current. Let's consider a wire now that carries an AC current so that we will have time varying fields as well. But before we get started, we will sometimes see the total current flowing in the wire I written in terms of uh, J, current density. So write an equation that we can use to relate I to J.